So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a custom mob script for your Minecraft server. You'll just be needing a basic script for this, there's no required add-ons. The first thing you're going to want to do is open your text editor of your choice and then create a command. Command spawn mob and then we're going to add two arguments. One is going to be text and another one is going to be an integer. Like I said, so only operators can use this command on your server. Trigger and then if argument one and argument two is set, so it makes sure that these are set when you enter the command in game so what i've done here is basically this is a function we'll create this function later on down here once we finish with this so basically spawn mob which has three parameters the first parameter uh, is the text is the first argument which is the text you put in the second one is the player who ran the command and the third parameter is the second argument of the command then we're just going to create an else statement for this if so if you do not have these two set or say invalid arguments, usage, spawn mob, name and HP to player. So it just tells them how to use the command. So this is where we create the function. So you're going to want to do the function spawn mob, and then this is going to be the variable name m colon text. So this is going to be a text, which is this p colon player, then HP colon integer, which is going to be this. So here, if m, which is the text, which is the first argument of your command, if that is equal to skeleton king, you can name this whatever you want, this is just an example. Then we're going to spawn one skeleton at the player, set the variable e to the last spawned entity, which will be the skeleton. Then we're going to equip e, which is the skeleton, with a gold helmet, gold chestplate, gold leggings, gold boots, and an iron sword. Then we're going to set the max health of e to the HP you put in in the second argument divided by two and then lastly we're going to heal the entity fully so that max health is reached because if you just set its max health higher than 20 which is what normally it would be it will just stay at 20 and just regen naturally so if you heal it it will heal it to its max health when it's spawned in initially and then this this just sets its name above its head to in yellow skeleton king and now down here just repeated the same thing just and i've just changed a couple settings change this to zombie guard spawn one zombie Iron helmet, iron chest plate, iron leggings, iron boots, and a wooden sword. Seeing the max health, obviously, that's the same thing. Same thing, and I just changed this to green zombie guard. So now that should be it for the script. So we can just copy paste this to our minor dashboard or whatever, whatever server provider you use. From plugins to script into scripts, we can create a script. You can just name it mobs.sk. Go into that script, paste this, and press save. Oh, by the way, mistake I made, uh, you can just change the send to message. It just does the same thing, but for some reason for me, it wasn't working. So just copy paste this and put it into your dashboard. And now all you have to do is do slash sk reload and then your script name. Mine was mobs. Then we can just do slash spawn mob skeleton king. Oh yeah, I forgot, you have to put HP at the end, so I can choose the H. You can make the, with this whatever you want, so I'm just going to put mine at 10. Then it should spawn a skeleton wearing gold armor with the name Skeleton King. I see that the uh, sword isn't working, so let's fix that quickly. So instead of this, just say set ease held item to iron sword. You just copy paste that and do the same for the zombie. Copy paste this into your dashboard. Then you can reload the script once again. Then once you've done that, you can do spawn mob once again. Skeleton king. I'm going to do 20. Then it should be holding the iron sword. Okay, cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this helped you with script. If you need any more help, be sure to join my Discord server in the description of the video. Uh, I'm active on there, I can answer all your questions. You can also leave video suggestions for what videos I can do next there, so yeah, cheers.